Hi everybody, just going to show you real quick how to use this web part to turn a web part zone into jQuery UI tabs. So the first thing I want to tell everyone is this is the out of the box v4 master page. There's been no customizations made. jQuery, jQuery UI, all the CSS, none of that is in the page. Um, so I'll do a quick test here. You'll see jQuery is not defined. So the first thing you need to do is download the WSP file from the blog and you're going to take that file and upload it into the solutions gallery. So here you just click on solutions if the tab's not already open and you choose the WSP file that you downloaded. and after you upload it you'll want to click activate you can click it on this next screen here um, but if you miss it you can just click on it in the list and underneath the solutions tab you'll see the activate button to make sure it's activated you can also check the web parts uh, gallery and you'll see that there's a new web part uh, available to your page called jQuery UI tab zone so I've created a special page here called SP Tabs ASPX, and I've put some content in there that I borrowed from Protivity. Uh, Protivity is the company that I work for, and what I've done is just created some uh, content editor web parts and some links. So, what is SharePoint, SharePoint Academy, and important links. And what we're going to do. I want this web part zone to be tabs. So we go into our custom folder and we drop in the jQuery UI tab zone web part. And what we need to do here, uh, if you click this link, by the way, it opens up in a new tab, shows you the API. Um, it may be useful for people who aren't um, absolutely familiar with the tab. So we're going to edit the web part and you're going to notice um, a few new things here. First I need to highlight my mouse. Okay, there we go. Uh, so, sorry about that. We're going to take a look at the web part properties. There's two new tabs here that you've probably never seen. Um, th this is the custom part of the web part. jQuery options allows you to include references to jQuery, jQuery UI, the CSS involved and also our custom Tabify script. Um, now all these boxes need to be checked unless you happen to be working with us on a branding project. Um, typically, typical use is you'll need to include all those. The tab properties just let you configure the API options um, but for now we're just going to do the default stuff and we're going to check in. And now you'll see that we've got tabs. It's that easy. Um, the references again to jQuery and jQuery UI and also the CSS file. Those are um, protocol lists and they reference uh, the Google Content Delivery Network, just in case you're wondering. If you already have a version of jQuery or jQuery UI, you can also just not check the, the uh, the box next to each one and you can put that into your master page or you know so the next thing I'll quickly do here is I'll edit some of the options just to make sure that uh, to show you that they're working and probably we can set the active active is a zero based index so one is actually web part two um, we'll make it collapsible and then I prefer a height style to match the content um, just a personal preference so we'll click OK save it and we should see that I should be able to click on an active tab and close it and also that the content itself uh, the box surrounding it should only match the uh, content within. So this was really easy but you may r run into a, a, a display issue on other 
types of page layouts depending on where you put this part. Um, and I'm going to show you why and what is what's actually happening and what the problem is first and then I'll show you how to fix it. Um, so again, out of the box page layout. Um, we have what what's actually going on here is there's two web part zones but they're configured in a table. So you got TD elements and what I want you to see here is there's no width. Um, and this is an out of box page layout. So you're going to run into this issue when you put things on the right and you put things on the left and you want to make one or the other tabs. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to drop our same web part into the web part zone on the right just to make, uh, to create these tabs. In the same way that we did before, we got to edit the web part and make sure that we include a reference to jQuery, um, jQuery UI, and the CSS and Tabify script. We're going to go ahead, I'm going to set the height style to content again. Again, yeah, the width, um, I'm going to show you why we have a width parameter here in just a minute, but I want to show you why we have it. And it's because of this, you know, you click through the tabs and the width changes of the entire uh, tabs widget. So not very good for usability doesn't really leave a good impression and I'll show you again the reason is the TD elements don't have a width but if I were to set a width um, we would see that the panel looks a lot better I'm just gonna pick 500 pixels it's probably way too much but you'll see that now um, you don't get that sporadic redefinement of the width of the panel you can apply this to the TD. Um, you could even apply this to the container element, the div ID tabs. But instead of doing that, because then if you put that in your CSS, you're going to affect all the tabs across your entire SharePoint page or SharePoint site. What I've done is just added that with property to combat this exact issue. So we're go back into the web part properties and I'm just going to change that width from 0 to 500. And that, This is a pixel value but you only need to type an integer. And we'll go ahead and click OK. Again active. Um, I just feel like it needs to be reiterated that it is a zero based index. So and here we go the tabs widget is 500 pixels wide and looks pretty good all out of the box sandbox web part really quick to uh, install if you have any questions or you want to take a look at the code behind just check out my blog um, I posted the Visual Studio project just in case you want to check out the Tabify script or you want to check out the code behind of the web part or make any kind of improvements.